Hi, we're going to talk today about a solution for text message marketing called Getty Text. Now, if you're familiar with text message marketing, you've seen it happen when you go to conferences, people ask you to text in a code. This system will allow you to do that, but this system will do a whole lot more than that. Now, if you use systems like CRMs, like Active Campaign or, or um, Drip or any of those ones out there, this texting system will work for you. These are made by the guys at Fix Your Funnel. Now, if you're familiar with that, they make a texting solution called Fix Your Funnel that works solely with Infusionsoft. Now, they saw that there are multiple other systems out there, CRMs, that need a texting solution. Hence, this is where Yeti Text has come along. So we've just recently signed up. We've put it through the test. We've done the onboarding. We did everything. And now we're going to show you what we absolutely love about this solution. So first of all, how do you find out about it? Well, go to yetitext.com, the URL, pretty simple to find. Uh, and you'll see here, you can sign up and uh, check it out and take it for a test drive. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna show you now the back end of the site. So pretty easy, pretty clean platform to use. Um, across the top, we've got settings like live chat, auto chat and active campaign messaging. Now we use active campaign at Blue Cow Marketing, so that is why we have this set up with active campaign. The first thing that I wanna show you is the live chat option. This is really great because if you are in a business where you have customers that may prefer to text you or you have appointments coming and then you're sending out appointment reminders by text, they can reply back to that and your admin person or yourself can get a, a browser notification and you can actually go in here and reply to those text messages. So we're gonna actually set up a text message, an auto text, and I'm gonna reply back to it and I'll show you how it all works. That's gonna bring us to the next section here, which is the auto chat. This is where you see it from the stage where it's like text this keyword to this number. So as you see here, I've got one set up for texting consult 2902200 four, five, four, six. Uh, and then also it gives you a post URL. Now what a post URL means is that within your active campaign or drip or any system that you're integrating here, you can run what's called a web hook. And I'll show you how we set that up uh, as well. And then we've got active campaign messaging. Now active campaign messaging comes into play where let's say throughout the sequence, you, you get somebody to opt in for a, a free report or a free course. Uh, you drip out some information by email, and now you're gonna go in and, and reach out to them by text message to start to engage them more interactively. So that's where you can say, okay, at this point in the sequence, we're gonna go ahead and reach out to this person by text message. And that's where we go ahead and we set this up. So let's go ahead now and we're gonna create an active campaign message and we're gonna put it into active campaign. I'm gonna drop myself into it and have that text message come through. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click add a message. Now in here, we're setting the label of what it is. So we're gonna say, um, ask for booking consult. And it's gonna come from the main number that's in here. And what we're gonna say here is hello, and we can merge in details. So we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna merge in the first name. We're gonna insert that. So hello, Sean. Hope you're having a great day. I'd love to have a call with you. Why um, book a time here? Now, what we can do is we also have the option to uh, insert other merge fields. <clears throat> but in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go hop over to our website. And I'm going to pull the link for our online free consult booking right here. So I'm going to take this. Should have known that off the top of my head. And we're going to go ahead and plop it in here. Perfect. So now I'm going to go and add that message. So now, as you see here, the ask for booking link is showing up and we got a post URL. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this to my clipboard. Now we're going to hop into active campaign and I'm going to go into my automation side. I'm going to create a new automation. 
We'll start from scratch. Now we're not going to get too in depth in this. Basically, I'm just going to show you how to put the webhook in. Um, but in this case, let's say somebody opted in for my my free ebook. Okay, I deliver them the ebook. Then I could deliver them a couple other pieces of content, and then maybe I want to drop this into that sequence. What I would do is at that point, I would just put in a web hook side of uh, Active Campaign, and that text message would fire out. Keeping in mind that I'd have to have their cell phone number on file. So one of the things that we're seeing more and more is that people will give their cell phone number and it's a truer piece of data to reach out to them. For one, they're going to respond more openly to getting a text message than they are to an email. And in most cases, they're not going to put in a fake email. So now we're seeing switching from asking people to put in their email to get a free resource to putting in their phone number. And now that you can also take those phone numbers and retarget through Google ads, through Facebook retargeting, it's going to give you a cleaner set of data. Okay. So in this case, I'm going to start without a trigger just because I don't need one. Now we're taking into account that you know how to build out sequences and you would know how to have emails and timers and delays in there. We're not going to cover that in this. I'm just going to show you that where you go to find that. So under conditions and workflow here in Active Campaign, you see down here this purple one that says webhook. We're going to click on that and I'm going to just highlight it and I'm going to paste in that webhook that was given to me. So there it is right there. I'm just going to call this Yeti text demo. Now I could have that it started with somebody filling in a web form and then they could go in here, they could um, you know, get an email, right? So throw that in there, right? They could, you know, you create the email. We're not going to do it, but we're just going to keep this there for now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make it active. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to search for myself. So I'm going to go to my contact records here. I'm just going to do a quick search. And there we go. I'm going to pull up my contact record and we're going to kind of bypass and assume that all this stuff was collected on the opt-in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in my number here, 330.30. Um, so it's in there on the record. Okay. I got a first name. I've got everything that I would opt in for. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put myself into that automation. It's actually automation 15 here and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Okay, so it should take a few minute, moments for it to, to run through and put me into that automation. Once I get into that automation, it's then going to fire out that text message to me. Okay, so we're just going to hold on a second and wait for that to come through into my inbox. Okay, so here we go. I'm um, see if you can see it here on the screen. It's a little out of focus. There we go. Uh, so the text message came through. Hi, Sean. Hope you're having a great day. A book of time here, and it puts in that link. Okay. So now when we go back to Yeti Text and I go into live chat, what we're going to see here is when I reply, thanks, I will do that. Okay, so it says that there's a notification. It wants to show me the notification here, uh, as we can see on the live chat. We're going to see in the inbox. There we go. There's the text message that was sent out. Here's me replying back, uh, and it's going to show me my contact record here. So think about that. You know, you have these messages going on, and people actually reply back you and or your admin or someone on your team can have a live engagement with them through any text instead of going back and forth by email, right? This is what people want. They want to be able to text and communicate with you moving forward. So this is a great experience. The other side is this number that you get with Yeti text, you can put that on your website for people to start a conversation with you. So no longer do you have to use your cell phone to text. You now have a company number that you can use for text messaging. Think about the possibilities with this. Right? This is a huge opportunity. Now, one of the other things that I like about Yeti Text is when we go in here under the settings side, obviously you can get multiple phone numbers. 
Uh, you can add multiple team members. So you can add another team member and have their settings set that they can only access the live chat. So you don't want your admin person to go in and mess with any of the other settings, which is great. They can just go and manage the live chat part. But one of the things that, that's really cool is the voicemail side of things. Now, what voicemail is, it's direct voicemail. So you're doing some marketing, you wanna reach out to them, you wanna have a call to action, or you have appointments and you wanna send out a voicemail reminder to everyone that they have an appointment coming up tomorrow, okay? Obviously, you're not gonna get so granular and specific to give them the time and date because you're gonna have to have a specific file for every single person, which is unmanageable. But think about this. You're doing free consults. You have your automation set that they can book it online. And you also have it set that a day before or a night before, you wanna send them a message to say, hey, just a reminder, it's Sean here from Blue Cow Marketing. We have a consult set up for tomorrow. Don't forget, it's in your calendar. You know it's gonna be in their calendar. So you record that audio, you upload it to the system, and you get another webhook. You put that in the automation. What it's going to do is it's going to then deliver it directly to their voicemail. It's not gonna call them, the phone's not gonna ring, but they're gonna get a notification they have a voicemail and they're gonna check it, right? People are gonna check their voicemails and now they can hear your audio of you talking to them. This is a fantastic feature to use in your whole marketing automation. Obviously don't get spammy and don't be sending them out to a, hard, a huge list trying to invite them to things because then you're going to start to spam inboxes. Make sure that any automation you do complements your entire process. That's going to be key. And anything that you do in marketing needs to complement, needs to be a utility, needs to be a service. It doesn't need to be spammy. It doesn't need to be or shouldn't be sales gimmicky or, or, or sleazy in any way. Use your technology wisely. So this is a great system, right? Like I mentioned, they integrate with Active Campaign, Drip, HubSpot, and ConvertKit. Those are the integrations that they have. Um, Fix Your Funnel does work with Infusionsoft and Keep, okay? So if you're using any one of these systems, this is a great solution. So like I mentioned, check it out. Thank you for watching this review this tutorial, um, whatever you want to call this. Uh, I just wanted to show you, wanted to get it out there and educate you about this system. This is something we're starting to use in our business. It's something that we're going to start to use in our client's business uh, because text messaging is where you need to go with your marketing. So if you like this, comment, write your questions, share, rate it. We really appreciate it. We'll be doing more of these videos Go to our website, bluecowmarketing.ca, where you can find our blog, also where you find this blog and other ones just like it. So have a great day and have fun growing your business.